Hi there, this is Save with Crypto. Okay, so uh, first of all, thank you very much for everybody who liked and shared and commented on my uh, video about the um, XRP scam the other day. If you haven't seen it, I'll put a link in the top corner right now. And uh, please do go over there, give it a like, and you know share it around. It's really important because um, cause whoever's running this site is just getting away with, uh, well, a fortune, to be honest, actually. Uh, I was just thinking, this is the site I'm talking about. It's called uh, rise2xrp.net. And it's one of these sites where you... Uh, you know, send your XRP to this address and then you never see it ever again. Uh, but they do sort of promise it will come back, but it doesn't. <laughs> and uh, anyway, to make sure it will come back, um, they put a little chat thing down there saying, uh, look at this, you can see uh, the transactions coming in and out. And the funny thing here is I think they have actually based some of the actual addresses on, on real ones. Um, I mean, I'm not any sort of coder whatsoever, but... Uh, this is a script that does the actual, um, you know, fake transactions. And it's funny how, you know, this one here is this variable here is called current count real. And I guess some of the other variables to do with like the, the fake numbers or something. But uh, yeah, anyway, so I don't totally understand uh, how they make this page. But I mean, you know, it's, 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 it's quite convincing. I can almost see why people give away thousands of uh, XRP to this site. But obviously, it's a really stupid thing to do because you they will just steal it. Anyway, I was looking at how much um, you know they've got away with. So I was looking at that address. So you can see here that his his, his balance is actually only ten thousand XRP uh, because it looks like what happened yesterday. Uh, they withdrew uh, two hundred twenty six thousand XRP. See, these are all the people who've been scammed here. These are all the sort of five thousand coming in. Can't believe this guy did it twice. <laughs> he sent he sent five thousand XRP. Obviously, thought oh nothing's coming back. So then he sent five XRP. That's the same address. But yeah, this one here, this, this guy sent twenty five thousand XRP. I bet that hurt. So what I did wonder was, uh, you know, what this address is here. It looks like this is where he's getting all, he's getting all his scam money coming in here. So there's sixty eight thousand, hundred forty thousand, two hundred twenty six thousand. Uh, 258,000. I, th I think he's had about a million XRP altogether. So that's about a third of a million dollars, isn't it? In two days, not bad. Uh, but he did move this lot to Binance, this lot to OKX. I mean, this large amount here, this looks like he's had the account for a while. He's had it since 2017. So the thing is, I mean, OKX probably know who this is. But they don't care because, you know, as far as they're concerned, it's just loads of XRP coming in from some, you know, various random accounts. And uh, they don't know that he's stolen it all. Anyway, it's all really sad. Um, it's all quite grim. Uh, but I don't think these people ever get caught. I think they just move on and create a new site. You know, there'll be one called Rise to Lunar Sea or something like that soon. And people will send all their Lunar Sea there expecting some sort of miracle. And it won't happen. So yeah, do make people aware of this by sharing that video, and uh, you know, making sure you're subscribed, giving the YouTube algorithm every chance it's got to show that video to more people. Anyway, I just wanted to show you what I'm doing with uh, Ripple myself, actually, because uh, what I've been doing, I've been looking for when the um, MACD goes negative on the uh, pretty much the 30 minute time frame. And uh, I've drawn these orange dotty lines in there. Um, and generally what I've been doing is when that goes negative, I've then been looking for the next dump and then I've been uh, setting a long. Now, what I've been doing is I've actually been doing it with three commas. So if you look over here, this one's actually just triggered. So this one triggered at 0.4677. And what you can do with this, when you set your limit order up you can go here set your leverage all that kind of thing and you can do a conditional buy uh you put in your price there mine was 4664 and then you can give it a trailing buy so it's going to be like if it get, if it varies by a certain percentage yeah and then you can set this percentage here of like when it goes uh say it triggers at 4664 and then it will follow it down and then when it comes back by 0.3 percent it will then do the buy. 
So I set mine 4664 and it actually did the buy at, well, it actually did it at 4677. Uh, so that's okay. Uh, obviously, if I'd not done that, probably could have got it slightly lower because, in fact, it did go down to about 4657. But it doesn't really matter because I'm, I'm in the trade now. And uh, you can see here, if I go to a smaller time frame, because it seems to have been bouncing around this kind of level for quite a few days now. And I'll, I'll show you some of the trades I've done. You can see this one here. This one triggered just a few seconds ago. And it's already $83 in profit. And my actual amount of Ripple I'm using is actually only, well, it's actually $3,900 now. Uh, I did start off with about 2000 about a week ago. So, um, you know, I've made like about $2,000 in the week. So if I look at close, profit and loss. Okay, so if we just search for the XRP ones. Okay, so you can see here, you know, what it's been making. This is uh, today, this one closed uh, a few minutes ago because it hit a stop loss, but I'll show you that in a moment. Um, so this one was $264, 108, 353, 38, 837. That was on the 25th. That was two days ago. Uh, I, I did something wrong here and I kind of came out of a trade to at the wrong time. I lost 169. Uh, but then I've got 144, 356, 253, 45. If you go on further, you know, 333, 219, 401, 128, 130. And literally kind of doing, you know, hundreds of dollars every day just with that, um, you know, $2,000 capital. It's been great. And then what I do once it's about, you know, 4 or 5% in profit is I set a stop loss using three commas. And uh, I also uh, click the uh, trading stop loss. So then the stop loss follows the price up as it increases. So if you get one of those wicks down, like we just got that one there, uh, that did close my uh, my trade, but it's, it was still like two hundred odd dollars in profit. So you know that was really good, and I'm basically doing that because it just seems to be stuck uh, in this range at the moment, this kind of range here. So literally every time it goes down, I'm doing a long. I could probably try and short it on the way down, but I, I'm just not very good at shorting. I'm much better at picking the bottoms rather than picking the tops. Yeah, so look how beautifully that worked. You know, this uh, this blue line was pretty much where my entry was. And, uh, you know, that whip came down there. And now it's on its way back up again. Right, I'm just going to take this one indicator out of the way here because that's probably confusing you a little bit. Now, as far as taking profit goes, what I've been tending to do is just set a stop loss uh, in profit. And then if it hits it, it hits it. And I'll just take the money. Um, that way, I'm probably not getting the biggest um rewards i can but i'm not losing any money that's the whole point so if i look at three commas you can see here now this this trade is now 211 dollars in profit which is nice five percent uh which is cool so what i would tend to do here is to go here and go to edit and then i'd set a stop loss and i'd look at what it is if it's zero that would be 0.4679 and then i would give it a trailing stop loss and that way the stop loss will move up and follow the price as it goes up and at some point if it wicks back down it'll close it i'll be in profit and uh, i'll be happy so i'll just go save changes there so you can see here now where it says tsl that's trading stop loss that is slightly above the buy price and as this price goes up that will tend to follow it and if it becomes like very in profit like so at 20 percent in profit then i might manually push the stop loss back down again just in case i want to take into account some volatility in the price and that's what i'm doing really just a you know a fairly basic sort of scalping technique that um doesn't require much skill um i mean i, I, I do like using three commas because i can sometimes get a better entry if the price is like really plummeting down then it, it you know when you do the 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 trailing buy it will follow the price down and uh, you can try three commas for uh, nothing by using the link savethecrypto.org slash three commas. And then what happens when it gets to the end of the trial, they'll try and nag you into getting a, a paid plan. But if all you're going to use is like one smart trade and you can even use one bot, I think you can use one DCA bot and one grid bot for free, I think. I think you can anyway. But you can certainly do quite a bit with, uh, with the free plan. Uh, they don't advertise the free plan, but you can see it once the, once your trial finishes. 
and you can choose the free plan for as long as you want. Uh, the only reason I upgraded to the starter plan was because uh, I wanted to use multiple smart trades. But if you want me to cover this in more detail, leave a comment below um, and I can do the whole bit about connecting three commas to buy bit or whatever. Um, and uh, I, yeah, I can show you that in more detail. Because this for me over the last week or so has been like really lucrative. Um, you know, it's earned me a nice, uh, nice sum of money. So yeah, so if you want me to do that, um, leave a comment, give the video a like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you've got notifications set on all, and above all, tell your friends.